Hello, Dominic here from the Bournemouth Writing Festival. I'm looking forward to welcoming you on the 26th, 27th and 28th of April 2024. And tickets are now on sale. So head over to the website and secure your spot. Um, now, we have new this year one-to-one -one sessions with writing professionals. So we have one-to-one -one, uh, sessions with literary agents, and we also have one-to-one -one writing surgeries with um, people who have got lots of experience in helping writers along. So on Saturday, we have Emma Scattergood. Now, she used to lead the MA Creative Writing and Publishing degree at um, Bournemouth University. And she also sets up the Bournemouth Writing Prize. And she now runs the Creative Path. So she's going to be doing 20-minute one-to-one sessions at Bobby's. At the same time, Linda Liebrand, who is a, a book marketing expert, will be doing surgery on any questions you have on your book marketing. And she'll help you along very bespoke. Um, so any questions or any help, um, you can get some um, expert advice from Linda. And on Sunday, Brad Bury, who is the current MA Creative Writing and Publishing Professor at Bournemouth University, will be doing a character triage. So if you have any problems or any um, need any guidance on getting some depth into your characters and your writing, then head over to see Brad on Sunday. Now, each of these sessions are 20 minutes long and cost £30, and you need to send in some of your writing or some of your questions to them in advance so they can prepare. Now, as you probably know, we have a hundred different writing events and activities happening over the three days in April. And one of those is the fundamentals of writing short stories. And I'm glad to say that Paul Draper is here with me today. Now, Paul is, was one of our most popular speakers at last year's festival. In fact, um, a lovely lady did a LinkedIn post uh, a couple of weeks ago, uh, talking, saying some very, very nice things about the writing festival, and name checked Paul and Matt Shaw. So um, <laughs> lovely, to, lovely to see, actually. So um, if you didn't know, Paul Draper is the author of the dark fantasy short story collection, The Black Gate Tales, which has twice topped the genre best-selling lit on Amazon. And not only is he a writer, but he's also a film and audio book producer and voiceover artist. He has written screenplays for films, TV, and films comedy for the BBC. So his uh, um, talk is called The Fundamentals of Writing Short Stories, and that's going to be on Sunday morning at 10 o'clock at Pavilion Dance. So welcome, Paul. Hello. Hello, Dominic. Uh, thanks very much for letting me join. I sound really good there. Thanks for the intro. <laughs> well, you are really good. As I said, you've received such good positive feedback, you know, even when we didn't ask for it. So uh, well done you. So why don't you tell us a little bit about yourself? You write short stories, you've got specialism short stories, but you also do other stuff. So tell us about your writing journey. Uh, it was around about the mid uh, 2010, so sort of 2014, 15, I decided to write in earnest. Um, like a lot of people, I've been sort of chipping away at it whilst doing other little things. Um, and it, uh, the right time came along to sort of really have a go at it. Um, so I just picked up writing work with um, client screenplay work and prose work and copy work. Um, and when it came to the COVID period in 2020, I also started to do voice work. So uh, once the production side of films dropped away, then, uh, you know, people stopped getting together so much. So I had to add a, another string to the bow. But really, my first love is prose writing. Uh, and particularly short story writing, which I've written many, many short stories over, over the years. And it was an absolute pleasure to be able to talk to the festival about this um, last year, because I think it condenses together uh, a lot of great theory that's around general writing. Um, so it's a very good vehicle for that. But uh, yeah, I'm sort of uh, carrying on this sort of strange journey and, and seeing where it goes. And so just a question. So you, you kind of do a lot of different things. You know, you do the screenwriting and the voiceovers and audio books. What's your favourite? I will say, I mean, I love I love people. So I love sort of collaborating with people. And, and it was a joy at the festival last year to be able to mix with so many people because writing by its nature is, is a fairly solitary business, really. Um, to a lot of people, you are just the, the weird relation, the one that shuts themselves away into a little room every now and again and sort of does something uh, that they may never even read. So there's a particular energy in collaboration and getting together with people. So I do like film production. I do like uh, screenplay work and getting together with other production people. But I think when it comes to pure imagination and being able to craft something that is solely yours to, to um, produce and uh, have other people consume, I think 
writing prose and short stories and a, and a novel that I'm working on this year is really sort of the thing that I gets me excited. Well, so there's, there's going to be another string to your bow when you write your novel then. <laughs> okay, so, um, so you write um, short stories, obviously, and your talk this year, again, is going to be the, the fundamentals of writing short stories. And it's quite a tricky skill, isn't it, to write in you know quite a, sh a short amount of uh, a word so what what are the kind of things you're going to be covering in your session it is a skill actually um people think that maybe the short form is an easier thing to do but uh, it was one of the famous authors i think it was margaret atwood who said i just don't have the energy to write short form uh so she writes sort of long form so uh, there is there is an element of truth in that um with a short story you're aiming for a concise uh, payload of uh, effect so you need to know at what points to enter and to exit the story, uh, a way to sort of chop along at a good pace, but still fill the story with character. So there's a it's, a, it's like a sort of really good cocktail shot, like a, a small shot of something potent. And uh, I can tell, even looking back seven or eight years to when I was starting to really produce a lot of short stories, that my writing is now different now. So what it is also good for is an excellent training ground for sharpening your skill to find out your voice to work in different forms uh, there have been some short stories where I've written almost as like a transcript like a sort of a, an interview transcript and others where I've tried to be a little bit more literary so I think it's a great stamping ground to figure out what your type of writing is um, and how best to get that across and uh, apart from people loving you and giving you great feedback and enjoying your talk, what other takeaways are you hoping that people leave with after, after they've finished? Well, I was surprised last year at the types of conversations that came about from the talk. And like you uh, said, um, a fantastic little LinkedIn post that popped up about how somebody had taken the short story theory um, uh, work that we'd covered and actually applied that to business writing um things like um the emotional impact of your story or, or the idea that a story is a character meets change and those are those are cross transferable um uh, skills and and themes so there's a number of different ways you can use this so the short story is uh, the short story theme is really a gateway through to to really just thinking about writing and if people can get together and, and before or after the session or in the, the various social areas that we have around the town during the festival and, and discuss things, then I think that's a win. And that'll be a win for any session. And I think that's where the power lies, you know, particularly with the writing festival, but also, you know, as you said before, writing's a lonely business. So be, even just having kind of a writing buddy, if you like, just to say, you know, does this make sense? Or could you look over that? And, you know, a, a critical friend, you know, I think that's so important. So ho hopefully after the festival, people don't feel like they go away and they're on their own, that they've got, they've got, so, uh, they've got their tribe. I suppose that's the word I'm, I'm looking for. Okay, great. Thank you so much, Paul, uh, for joining me today. So his talk, The Fundamentals of Writing Short Stories, is on Sunday, the 28th of April at 10 a.m. at the Pavilion Dance. Now, right after Paul's talk is another short story talk. Um, that's by Alice Fowler, uh, which is entitled How to Get Your Short Story Collection Published and Market It Like a Human Dynamo. Now, sadly, um, both those talks will be after the deadline for our poetry and short story um, writing competition. Um, but never mind, if you are thinking about writing short stories, um, then please come along and see Paul uh, at the Pavilion Dance. So, Paul, thank you so much for joining me today. Uh, you're very, very welcome. And I'm looking forward to the festival. It's going to be great this year, I'm sure. Oh, so, I, so, so am I. So am I. So thank you again. And I look forward to seeing everybody else in Bournemouth on the 26th, 27th and 28th of April 2024. Take care.